using what? Pythagorean the Pythagorean theorem. Once I find that, then I'll just double it, and that's chord AB. If you know two of the three sides, you can always use Pythagorean theorem. When you only know one side, you have to use sine, sine cosine tangent. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a right triangle. Yes, it has to be a right triangle with Pythagorean theorem. Wait, for sine and cosine stuff, can you use the nine hundred number? No. no. I didn't think so. No. Okay, so what we have here is, um, oh, what do we have here? Okay, 8 squared is equal to 5 squared plus x squared. Subtracting 25 from both sides, I have 39. Taking the square root, and I can't simplify it, the distance from A to Z is the square oh, root 39. of 39. It's just 39, right? No, it's not. You're not squaring it. You're multiplying it times 2. Oh. Uh, and that's not like Chord AB has a measure of two square roots of 39. 39 times 2. Whole number on the outside, radical number on the inside. Thank you. Me too. In the same circle or in congruent circles, chords that are the same distance from the center are congruent to each other. Chords that are equally distant from the center are congruent, and vice versa. If chords are congruent, then they are equally distant from the center. Now I can make a difference to draw your circle, to, to draw your triangle. Huh? Exactly. Unless that will help you with links and measures in your right triangles that you'll be using to do whatever you need to do. Are we ever going to stop triangles? Nope. Is there else That's about all geometry is, is triangles. It's the root of all everything. Think about it. There's triangles in rectangles. You can draw a triangle in a parallelogram, in a trapezoid, in a rhombus, even in a circle. I can probably draw a triangle with my eye or something. Yeah, show your eye in a circle. All right, so let's look at this picture here, okay? First off is this. QS is perpendicular to the chord and QS would be part of a diameter, right? Right. So that means that if RS is 3, then ST is 3. And now I know that RT is, is, is 6, and UV is 6. So Since they're equal, then their distance from the center is also equal. So x has a value of 4. Just give me one second. See, I wish we saw, we saw how many slides we have left. It's like a mystery. Okay. Is it a kind of what you can see? <laughs> I know, the homework's are much harder than this. I know. How do you know that they're equally distant from the center? Because the chords are equal. And we just said... Chords equidistant from the center are congruent. Chords congruent are equidistant from the center. Now, you want to prove it? Let's do this. Let's prove it, okay? No. This is perpendicular, so this is a right triangle that's 3, 4, this is going to be 5. Because 3, 4, 5 is a common right triangle measurement, where the short leg is 3, the long leg is 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. Dude. Okay? Well, All right? <laughs> well, the radius here is also 5, and this was also 3, so, so this is four. also going to be 4. Oh, shit. I like okay. this. I like this. Oh, All right. You it's so funny. Let's go, because we're, we're losing time here. All right, we're going to try to find x and y. Look at the picture. Don't draw it. Just follow. Okay. Look at the picture. What's the relationship between x and y? They're the same they're chord. They are equal because, uh, perpendicular. because the diameter is perpendicular.
perpendicular to the chord. Okay, so I only need to find one. How am I going to find it? Solve the triangle. Pythagorean theorem. 13 squared, that's like a B, but it's 13, is equal to 5, five squared, squared plus x squared. X squared. squared. Okay. X is 12, Y is 12, <laughs> and X, Y is 12. So X plus Y is 24. Y'all be quiet. Okay, I'm missing something here. I, I forgot to draw it. Okay? If this is a 90 degree triangle and this is 60, 30. what's this? 30. 30. Oh, great. So I can use my special right triangle stuff to figure out X and Y. Mm -hmm. What do I know? The hypotenuse. So, uh oh, X is 3. Nope. Y is 3. Y is 3. Just kidding. X is 3. And then X is 3. Darn, I got my short tail. Okay. This is the short leg. So it's half of the hypotenuse. And the long leg is the short leg multiplied by the square root of 3. What if I wanted to find the length of AB? What would I do with this? Okay. Very good. X is 8 because since this is perpendicular, it is cutting the chord into two equal pieces. And since they are the same distance from the center of the circle, then the chords themselves are congruent. I get that. Wait, no one shout it out. RT is equal to 30. Okay. No. It's perpendicular, yeah. Yeah. so we're going to just double this, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find OM. And the Pythagorean theorem gave us, I think it was 7.7. .7. I've worked this twice in the past two hours. All right? Okay, first thing, I have a problem here in the way I named ARC ACB. It's supposed to be AB. It's supposed to be AB. Because it's a minor arc. Um, it's under A. A, B is a minor arc? Yeah, because it's yep. not. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So, if I'm looking for the measure of arc A, B, how can I find that? Don't look at this triangle. Oh, you just subtract 220 from 360. Very good. And you get? Something. <laughs> 140. All right. <laughs> then the next question is, what is the measure of angle A, O, C? What is the measure of this angle? Okay, so 140 divided by 2. 140 divided by 2. Oh, that's the whole, it's half of the central angle that creates it? No. Wait, A, O, C. Because the radius is perpendicular to the chord, then it has bisected this, and it has bisected this. Oh, okay. AB is, is not 140. Arc AB is 140. So to split the arc in half, it'd be So 70. you split it in half. And that is 70. 70. So that's 70. Because AOC is the central angle that forms half of arc AB. Right. You have a radius of 6. We're going to draw a radius here. How can we find the measure of arc CD? Oh, they're uh, equal, right? Yes. 80. Since these chords are equidistant from the center, the chords are equal, and equal chords have equal arcs. So this is 80. This is the point where I just like assume that these are Okay. No. Okay. Watch, watch. Like, it's gonna be 40. This is 40 because since this radius is perpendicular to the chord, 
then it's 